Good work by guys, you know, fight through it, push through it. Guys working hard. What do you guys have today? Should you know exactly how long you're going to play the starters? Um, I know they're going to start. <laughs> and, um, I mean, obviously I want to see them play longer than they played last week. You know, again, quarter, whatever that is, uh, maybe a little longer. All depends on how it's going. But I, uh, I definitely want them out there longer than eight plays. And, and again, if the results are... Touchdowns will keep going, you know. We, we just need to play a little bit more. It's still two quarters for Baker or less? Or? Again, you never know how that's going to unfold until I want him to play again uh, and get some good exposure uh, to another defense. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, I, I also want to see Drew play too. So, uh, But Baker will definitely go second, and then we'll kind of go from there. Hugh Jabril, obviously, we talked about his role this year, how it's changed. Uh -huh. It seems like the last probably week and a half he's really kind of settled in there. Like he's having fun out there. What have you sort of seen? Well, I think he's comfortable, you know, in the packages that Greg plays. I think uh, he, he has a good understanding of what's expected of him, and I think he's uh, playing to that. I think he's very comfortable in his second year with his teammates. He's been very vocal, you know, which is good. So, again, he's just here's a young emerging player that's really starting to get it and, and play really good football. He, he never complained, at least to us, he never complained about his role. What does that say about him? No, I think all the guys here, not just him. I think there were some other guys that I think they're team guys. I mean, they're here for the right reasons. They're here to come to work. If we feel that we have deficiencies in areas, we put guys there. I mean, like I said, look at Joel Batonio. You know, we do what we need to do, and that's what I like about our football team. They're all in, and they'll do anything the coaches ask them to do. Hugh, when you played quarterback in college, how much – could your coaches help you with, I don't know if you want to call it pocket presence or pocket awareness, and how much of it was just the feel and just the innate ability to move around in the pocket? Well, I'm, I'm sure you're talking about Baker and Tyrod. <laughs> they both have that. Um, you know, obviously, I think our coaches, Ken Zampezi and Todd, I think they, they try to create environments for them to understand when to run, you know, when to just throw the ball away or when to take a sack. But at the same time, you have to have an innate feel for that and obviously both of those guys have that skill you saw it on their college tape you saw it on Tyrod's pro tape uh, and I think you have to have that in the National Football League everything's not perfect you have to add lip some time to be able to make plays outside the pocket did, did you see that with Baker the, the other night oh yeah no his poise back there being able as a young guy to keep your eyes down the field and still have the play you know uh, process in front of you and still have the wherewithal to throw a strike to a guy that's that's uncanny for a young guy. Hey, is J.C. Treader is something going on with him? I don't think he uh, he practiced again today. No, he practiced yesterday. Oh, so today was his down day. So 16 straight games. That's what we're trying to get him to, and hopefully that's that that a hold true again this year. Aside from general improvement everywhere, uh huh. Anything you're focusing in on uh, getting accomplished this game? Well, one is having them play longer. Um, to let's let's see what the second week, you know, brings in terms of more execution, uh, understanding situational football. Uh, again, I think we need to be better at substitutions, getting guys in and out, uh, as far as from the sideline. And again, it's it's week two of the staffs being together and understanding what we're trying to accomplish. I think those things are important, and obviously the most important is evaluating the team still. Yeah, this was the last day for fans to come out. Can you just what can you say about all the fans who were here for all these weeks of camp and coming out to support you? I can never say enough about our fans. Our fans are outstanding. Some of the best fans in the world. I think they come out, support the team. Uh, hopefully, our team is given back to them. Uh, but nothing will change until we start winning football games, and I think we get it. Uh, but we're thankful. You know, they come out every day and support us. They kind of pushed us through today. Today was a grind day for our players. I could feel it. Uh, but they were able to get through because the fans are all always out there screaming and cheering for them. With Landry making that another amazing <laughs> catch, as you call it. Yeah. When he makes those kind of catches, is that something that you think energizes everybody? The oh, abs line, absolutely. Offense, Coaches, players, fans, everybody. I mean, he does things, you know, almost every day that we go, wow. You know, and that's those are the plays we're going to have to make in key moments this year as we go. And. He's going to be one of those guys that has to has to make those plays. Since you've seen it, the third game is the so-called dress rehearsal. Uh -huh. You want to have things kind of in hand. So, how much urgency is there in this game for certain positions? I think I think there's always urgency, uh, Tony. I think uh, anytime we're playing, 
you know, I think for our players because they're putting something on tape that we get to evaluate and say, you know, whether a guy is not playing as well as he should or uh, we got to do a better job even coaching the players. So I think there's urgency all throughout our football team. I think obviously there's competition in some, some spots and that's going to sort itself out by the way we play. So um, guys will play. Next week is the dress rehearsal game. We'll keep, continue to evaluate in that game as well. You like we had that one drop, but how's he progressing in this? Well, prior season? prior to the drop, the last two days, he's been doing some really good things. And again, that's going to happen every now and then. We don't want it to happen, but he's got to work through that because those are huge plays in the scoring zone. So uh, again, I think our players are starting to get it. They're working through some things. Some young guys understand just how important it is to make every play that you get. And uh, because again, it, it matters to everybody. And so that's been stressed to all those guys and they'll keep working at it. Just to follow up on one thing, I um, for, for positions that are unclear in your mind, mm -hmm. uh, does this game hold more weight than the next couple days of practice after the game? Late um, the, third game? the game does because you're playing against a different opponent. Uh, but at the same time, practice will too. And, the next game will too. And as long as, you know, we still haven't decided, it might go into the fourth game, you know. But as you, as you said, hopefully after the third game, we pr pretty much have an idea of how this is going to go other than a couple of spots here and there. And uh, we'll figure those out too. Why do you think you need to see some of Drew, even though you kind of know his body of work and you've got younger guys that might need some action? Well, because I think it's important that, uh, again, if something was to happen, he might need to play. And uh, he's never played for me in a game, you know, or Todd or Kenny. So I think it's important that we put him out there with his teammates and play. He's a very valuable uh, person, you know, in our organization, on our football team. And, um, you know, if something was to happen, we would have to make a, a heck of a decision on which road we travel. So I want to know more about him. And uh, he's been great at practice. But again, you got to put guys in game situations and let them play. Did you get information about Randall? About who? Randall, when he got yeah, I, I, again, I don't. I, I think it's okay. I don't think it's anything serious, but we'll see once I once I get inside. When you say when you talk about Drew, which road you would travel if something happened? Are you talking about whether or not you go with Baker or Drew? Well, right. I mean, I I've said from the beginning. You know, again, I think experience is important. Um, so right now, Drew still has that experience, and we'll see how that all unfolds as we go. I, I know what you're asking. I haven't made that that choice just yet. Uh, but I think his veteran presence says a lot. You know, he's played in a lot of games against a lot of teams we, we're going to start off against and play against. So I think that's important to definitely consider.